Meanwhile, Nigeria's First Lady Oluremi Tinubu has appealed to Nigerians to exercise more patience as the president is working hard to address the current challenge the nation is facing. The First Lady who made the appeal when she visited the Emir of Kano, Aminu Adubairo, said President Tinubu is fully aware of the current economic hardship and means well for Nigerians. Trust TV correspondent Idris Jabrin Idris now reports. <laughs> Nigeria's First Lady Oluremi Tinubu, alongside the Deputy President of the Senate, Governor of Benue State, Minister of State FCT, and top government officials arrived at the Emir's Palace, Kofor Kudu Kanu, to pay homage as part of her official visit to Kanu. And, um, I want to thank you, Your Royal Highness, uh, Dr. Aminu Adubayo. I want to thank you, sir. Thank you for the support, not only to Mr. President, but to our family. Uh, God will continue to grant you divine health and long life to continue to rule great uh, people in Kano. According to the First Lady, her visit to Kano is to carry out some official assignments, but most importantly, to thank the Kano Emirate and the entire people of the state for their support to the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, despite the current economic hardship, which she says will soon be over. When we did in Lagos, it was like it was a little bit shaky. But you know, Nigeria, I want to assure Nigerians that we are here, we are resolute, we are going to work and make sure that the fortune of this country is turned around. So just bear with us, but you know, continue to assist whoever you can that God has given you, but things will get better. By the grace of God, and very soon. For the Emir of Kano, Amina Adobaeru, the need for the Tinubu administration to rise up to the current challenges of insecurity, poverty, and food crisis is very necessary. The Emir asked the First Lady to extend his message to the President that things are top for ordinary Nigerians, especially in the northwestern part of the country, where banditry and kidnappings continue to threaten both economic and agricultural activities leading to an unprecedented inflation and high cost of living among Nigerians. I know Mr. President met security challenges in this country, but I am urging the President to pay more attention to the current security problems that we are having, especially in the northwestern part of this country, where banditry and kidnappings have continued to threaten both commercial, economic and agricultural activities. People are suffering and also there is the high cost of living. Food items and everything have gone far. We are therefore urging the president to find a way of making life easier for ordinary Nigerians. First Lady Oluremi Tinubu is expected to meet with women and student groups in the course of her one-day official visit to Kanu. Idris Juprin, Trust TV News, Kanu.